The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Do you know that there was a there was a Hazan? There was a Hazan in the in the city of Bnei Brak. He was the Hazan of the great yeshiva of Panovich, one of the biggest yeshiva in the world. He was a Hazan for Shanan Kippur for the high holidays. You can imagine how great of a man he must have been just to be allowed to be the Hazan of Panovich. He was Hazan of Panovich or Shanan Kippur for 30 years. But over the years, he grew older and his voice is not as strong anymore. And at the same time, the yeshiva put in a new air, air conditioning system. And sometimes you know how those air conditioning systems sound with the noise and the rumbling. And suddenly they realized that their older Hazan, his voice just doesn't carry over the air conditioning anymore. So they had to make a choice. Do we ask the Hazan to leave or do we shut off the air conditioning? Do you know what B'nai Brak is in September? Do you know what type of heat we're talking about? A yeshiva of two, three thousand people? You're going to shut off the air conditioning? What should we do? So they came to the Chazan and they said to the Chazan, I'm sorry, they can't hear you over the air conditioning anymore. Thank you for the last 30 years of service. But we have to get somebody new, somebody young, that has a louder voice that will be able to be he heard over the air conditioning. The Chazan was so hurt. He said, but I was a Chazan for 30 years. How could you take this away from me? They said, okay, we don't know what to do. We got to go to a Din Torah. They went in front of the great Reb Shach, Zechet Tzadik Lebracha, the Rosh HaYeshiva of Panovich. And Reb Shach, he heard the side of the yeshiva and the air conditioning. But he also heard the side of the Hazan. He has a Chazaka. 30 years he was Hazan. You don't just say goodbye. The Shach listens and he listens. And he turns to the both sides and he says to them, listen. In truth, you are both right. On one hand, you can't shut off the air conditioning for a crowd of two, 3,000 people. But on the other hand... He was the Chazan for 30 years, and he has a Chazaka. He says, you're both right. And then Rav Shach turns to the Chazan, and he says to him, I'm an old man, but I want to tell you in my entire life, I've never in my life once seen anybody lose out when they were mivater and walked away from a potential machloke. Heed my words. This is an opportunity for you. The Chazan hears this. He thinks. He drops his head. And he says, okay. You can get a new Chazan. From sources very close to me, they say, this Chazan had three daughters all over the age of 25. None were married for years. That year, all three girls, and from what I understand, the oldest was like 38, all three girls were married with excellent shiduchim, with money in the bank to pay for their weddings, with Hashamayim, the Yeshua that this Hazan saw because he stepped down, even when he was right. He was mevater and let it go. In, our, in God's eyes, you're the winner. And that's going to be a moment of incredible blessing. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.